Okay folks, I forget to press record, but anyway, this is my setup. I have the front axle supported by the uh, two axle stands, and the rear is in the hoist. I have two no hoist beds, but anyway, the engine is in, and now I'm gonna connect all the lines, the brake lines, the fuel tank has to go back in, and before I put all the plastic covers on, I want to give it a start, and I'll pick you up from there. Okay folks, I've got the fuel tank in, everything is connected, there's this one line I need to figure out, it has to do with the EGR. What I'm going to do now is start it with a spark plug disconnected, I'm going to start it over a couple of times so I have oil through the entire engine, and then I'm going to connect the spark plug and then we'll see if she'll run. First start was somewhat of a success. Uh, the problem that it didn't want to rev up was in the carburetor. I have it over here. In front of the carburetor, there is a small uh, butterfly valve. You can see it. Oops, I'll try this with one hand. You can see it open and close now. Uh, this only regulates the airflow. And behind here, on this cover, is the actual throttle, there's the slide, and you can see the needle there, and there's the main jet, and this didn't go, there is a membrane in here, and apparently that was broken, it was ripped, so this didn't move, so it only wanted to run at idle. Anywho, I had a new carburetor in hand, um, so that's in, I tested it already, and now the engine wants to rev normally and um, didn't rev it up so anyway uh, that is sorted and the only thing I need to do now is put the cover and the seat and all back on which I'm going to do off camera okay folks she's back together gonna start it got my riding gear on and go for a quick test drive so uh, see you in a minute Well folks, in the beginning of this episode I said it wouldn't take as long as Project LS400 and it did. I thought it would take about a week but we're now two and a half weeks later. And it's mostly down to the fact that I had to wait a long time for the gasket for the final drive. Anyway, I went for a five kilometer test drive. As you can see maybe through the window it's getting really dark outside and it's getting cold. Um, everything runs fine. The final drive is much quieter than it was. Um, when I run full throttle it goes 45 kilometers an hour and for now that's just fine. Normally when you have to run in a new engine or a new cylinder and piston rings you want to vary your vehicle speed, accelerate slowly but also put some load in there so the piston rings can settle. And with this kind of transmission, a CVT, it's a bit harder to do. When I want to drive at a normal speed, I'm already going full throttle, but for now that's just fine. And also for my wife and daughter, who both aren't experienced riders, this is ideal. We can make things go faster uh, at a later point in time if they want to. For fuel economy, this is also better. Anywho, um, it was a fun project to do, 
much more work than I originally anticipated. But um, I hope you liked following me along during this project. And if you have any comments, suggestions, suggestions or constructive criticism, please let me know down below in the comments. And also, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give me a like if you like what you see. You got a lot of new projects, interesting projects coming up. There's an update on my tools. There will be an update on Project LS400 soon. I have another Lexus LS400 project coming up, which I'm going to videotape this week. There are car reviews coming. So, if you like what you see and if you want to help support the channel you can do so by buying me a coffee i'll leave the link down below in the description and for now i would like to thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye